Good evening, friends. I have all been well. I am also fine. Uh, my name is Atiku Ahmad. I am an AWS Certified Developer Engineer. And I'm going to show you today how you can install MySQL 8 on Ubuntu 22. So let's get started. First, uh, log in to your AWS console and go to EC2. So you can go there, services, and then click on EC2. You will come to this screen where uh, you will see the dashboard or EC2 dashboard. <clears throat> Then uh, click on launch instance, and then we are going to launch a new instance here. Mostly we are going to use Ubuntu and the latest version. At this moment, when I'm recording this uh, tutorial, it's the latest version is 22.04. So uh, let's select that. Give it a name. And then uh, let's select the uh, uh, key pair. Sorry, choose the instance type. <coughs> I'm going to choose T2 micro, that should be sufficient. Then choose a key pair and uh, I think this is permission that is done. So for firewall, let's just only uh, select the existing ones. Then uh, choose the uh, I, I am install profile. So this will help you to connect your instance from the console. So let's get started. So then click on this. And let's click on this section. <laughs> It will take around one or two minutes to uh, start get started with the instance. Meanwhile, I'm going to discuss you what I'm going to do. So first update the APT packages, to do APT update, and then I'm going to install, so do APT install my SQL server, and then I'm going to run SQL installation. That's it. So uh, let's push this. Let's try to connect. Oh, it is still not ready yet. So just uh, refresh this screen one more time. And uh, you will be able to connect. Then uh, I can just copy the comments. So this is comment one. And then this is the next comment. That's it. We are, uh, if we run this, you uh, should be able to install MySQL uh, 8.0. If you want to 22, that's it. Okay. Uh, the next command is I can uh, just change the sequence. I'm going to start it first. And then I will. I'm going to start it. Then I'm going to enable it. So do system CTL enable MySQL. That means when uh, the server reboots, it will automatically start MySQL. I don't need to write it anymore. So these are the two things. And then uh, I updated the blog for some reason. It's showing the cached version. So let's just go here. Refresh my blog. So what I added here is uh, Change the root password. So um, let's connect system. At this moment, when we just install, there is no root password. So just press enter. That's it. You will be connected. 
Then uh, change the root password to something like this. Alter user root localhost identified by MySQL native password by new password. This is the new password. Okay. Let's click enter and then uh, exit. So now, if you wanted to connect with uh, your system, you need to give this new password. Otherwise, it will not work. So this is the one. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to run this uh, SQL installation thing. So, so where is the SQL installation? Where is the SQL installation? So let's copy this, paste it here. Okay, enter password for the root user. There is the password. Password is new password. Wow. The most secret password the world have ever seen. So uh, validate password component. I don't need that. So no. Change password for the root uh, existing password for the root. Uh, change the password for the root. No, I don't want to change the password. Remove anonymous users. Yeah. Uh, let's remove remove disable disallow root login remotely. That means uh, the login can be only from the local host or the local server, not from outside. I don't want that. So. <clears throat> I want to block outside access. So yeah, that's true. I want to block it. Remove trace database and yeah. Reload privilege database, yes. That's it, we are done. Let's uh, connect to the database again. So there it is. Let's create a schema, create schema. Uh, but probably I don't need to keep this additional thing. Okay. So databases, let's see, it. Uh, use a pick, database change, create table. Ah, like this. I just forget the syntax now. It is simply taking my SQL, SQL. Yeah, I just forget. Usually I do it from the MySQL workbench. So yeah, that's, that's not good. So, uh, here table not exist, table name. No. So here table, no, I have to keep table name. That's it. Uh, okay, ID. Okay, I need to just define some things. ID in not now name virtual use the type not now. And that's it. So, so uh, sorry. select all from user empty set. Well, that being said, uh, um, yeah, using the uh, GUI for MySQL workbench, I was almost forget the syntaxes. Sorry about that, but. That's not a big deal because we don't want, we are not going to interview my skill skills. You are learning how to install it on Ubuntu server and that's being done. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll get more videos that you are uh, wanted to learn. So thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.